All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. We are in the Tlacolula Sunday Market outside of Oaxaca, Mexico, and I'm so pumped because today we have a ton of street food to eat. This is a true street food heaven. Let's check it out. If you like spicy tacos and juicy meat, you're in for a treat. Because today, we found five amazing Mexican street foods that you're gonna love. From soft and juicy tacos, to the most insane barbecue chorizo from heaven, and some beautiful and messy Mexican pork sandwiches, this video is gonna make you hungry. So make sure to watch all the way until the end, so you don't miss any of these beautiful foods. Let's eat. Oh yeah. I think what we have right in front of us here is carnita. Oh, carnita. First up, before going deep into the market and finding barbecue heaven, we found the most beautiful carnitas stall, aka pork and pork organs simmered in lard and oil until they're extremely tender and then wrapped up in a tortilla and covered with salsa. Look at this. This is just, this is the carnitas. Oh, it's full of, look at all those organs. Oh, the intestine, the skin. Oh, I think there's probably the uterus. And oh, actually it has a very, very rich pork aroma. I'm gonna get half skin and half meat. I'm gonna get two, just cause they look so sloppy goodness. Oh. oh. Yes. Dos, dos carnita por favor. Oh, that just looks like a, such a sloppy, fatty, pork delight here and we are just on the edge of the market there is going to be a ton of good food here today look at that oh yeah look at that that is the skin so he's going to take the skin and mix it up with the pork the leaner pork and that combo should be lean and fatty perfect texture and flavor and feel Gracias. Okay, take a look at this, guys. We got the beautiful combo of both lean pork and fatty skin. But the real beauty here, to go with the lime, is the guacamole. This should also have a bit of chili in it, the red salsa, and also these onions and habanero. And we're finding that these are very spicy. So we're gonna add a bit of everything. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that look at that fatty skin. And we're gonna cover it with salsa. Mmm. Oh yeah. And then the real joy here is to squeeze your lime on there. Gracias, senor. Mmm. 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 Hey, look at that. Oh yeah. It is just totally melt in your mouth. Silkiness. The, the lime, no, the onion, the, mm, the salsa, it's perfect. And what I'm loving about Mexico so far is the complete variety of salsas that you can get here. Everyone is slightly different, slightly different spice level. Mm, that is just awesome. Bye-bye. Great, let's keep going. Next up, we ventured deeper into the market and found a lady selling some beautiful Oaxacan classics right on the grill, like Clayudas, tostadas, and plump Mexican pork sandwiches. All stuffed with your selection of different meats and freshly made salsas. This here is messy, juicy joy. Oh yeah, this market is just getting busier and busier the further you go in. I think we found a little Clayuda stall here. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh. Hola, senora. Oh, look at this fried beef with onions, and then fried chorizo sausage, and we can get that in a clayuda tortilla. Oh, it's clayuda. Oh, clayuda, look at that. We're gonna have to get one. Uno clayuda, por favor. Uh, chorizo clayuda, por favor. It's really satisfying watching this red chorizo sausage sizzle. The best thing about food ranging like this is without a doubt getting to meet all the friendly people when you travel through practicing the local language. You just gotta have fun, smile, and make it all an adventure by tasting new foods, learning new languages, and discovering as you go. It's torta. The torta. Oh, torta. Muy rico. Oh, Mexico de comida. Muy rico. Oh yeah, look at that salsa. We could actually film that. We could eat that. The torta. 
That is the blue cornflour tortilla. She's gonna get it nice and crisped up and load it with chorizo clayuda, por favor. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, that's frijoles. So she's loading it up with frijoles, which is refried beans, a bit of salad with cilantro, and then she's just loading it up with the chorizo. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. Guacamole. See, si, por favor. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, so she's gonna open that up and put a little quesillo cheese, Oaxacan string cheese. Clayuda is Oaxaca de comida. Uh, Oaxaca de comida. Oh, typical de Oaxaca comida. Typical Oaxacan food here. And she's gonna cut into that. Listen to that sizzle. Oh, doesn't that look incredibly beautiful? Gracias, senora. Let's take a look in there. Ooh, wow. The color of Mexican food is unbelievable. The true color. Look at that red chorizo. The unbelievable aromatic frijoles, beans with onions, cilantro, string cheese, and also that amazing guacamole and salsa. Just looks amazing. Mmm. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. It really is all about that spicy chorizo. She's loading it up. And you can get it on all different types of tortillas, torta sandwiches, it's all here. But that flavor of the chorizo, it's spicy, fragrant, fatty, juicy, with that string cheese. Mmm. After saying bye to our new friends, we made our way further into the market and found true street food heaven. Right when you walk into this market, you instantly smell the meat grilling over the coals. And you can't help but walk over and order up a ton of meat. This is just the beginning of the market. We actually haven't even got into the market yet. This looks like the town square. Just look how beautiful this is. And over there is the main market and church. Awesome. This is the entrance to the market. And it's so colorful here. Amazing. Let's go see what we can find. Oh, oh, we just found meat heaven. Look at this. Oh yeah, this is the meat lane. Incredible. Hola. Oh, look at the meat we found. Oh, I think I see some down here. Oh yeah. We totally found the meat jackpot. Hola, senora. Uno chorizo, por favor. Y uno esta, por favor. Gracias. Oh. Y uno chile de agua, por favor. Look at this. Honestly, my favorite thing in Mexico so far is the chorizo. Just the spice, the juice, the bursting, the flame. This is the type of meat you can dream about weeks after you eat it. Just listen to the beauty of the sizzle. <laughs> Oh yeah, gracias. We got a ton of food, way more than I expected. She gave me the overload here. Look at all these grilled onions. Oh wow, huge grilled onions. And then the chorizo sausage, which is what I originally wanted. My favorite thing in Mexico so far is just spiced chorizo sausage and then this thinly sliced grilled beef. That is just amazing. Look at the scene here. It is incredible. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh, chorizo. Muy rico. You just get this insane aromatic spice, juicy and fatty. And then we've got chili de agua here. That should be very spicy and nice, thinly sliced grilled beef. After tasting the extremely spicy chili de agua and the sweet smoky grilled onions, the ladies asked for some of the meat back so they could eat some as well while the camera wasn't rolling. So I gave the rest back to them and we moved on to find more street food. They were actually saying to us behind when the camera wasn't rolling that they wanted to eat some. So I just offered it to her and I think she is gonna finish that off. We're gonna keep exploring and see what else we can get here. This is the barbacoa lane. But we're gonna go get a whole lamb later. 
barbacoa, but you can see this market is just full of action. After walking a little further into the market, we stumbled on a famous cow foot soup joint serving up a rich beef stock full of smooth tomato aroma and lots of fragrance from cumin, oregano, onions, garlic, and cilantro. And when you walk up and see all the cow feet ready to be chopped up and put in your soup, you gotta order up a bowl. Oh, caldo de pata. Okay, we're gonna try some cow foot soup. Gracias, gracias. Awesome. Okay, I've heard all about this. Oh, the tortilla. Okay, uh, dos, por favor. Fresh tortilla in the market. Okay, gracias. Cinco. Gracias, senora. Gracias. Uno caldo de pata, por favor. Look at that bubbling, rich stock, beef stock. Look at all that, that's actually all the cow feet. Oh, and that's a rich, spicy broth. Oh, gracias. Okay, see. Sí. Cilantro and onion. Awesome. Gracias, senora. Oh, wow. That, that is insanely aromatic. Actually, it has a, a bit of a smoked, smoky aroma, kind of like a chipotle pepper. There's also, oh, an amazing tomato aroma, onion, cilantro, and look at all those chunks of cow foot. Actually, it, it smells very similar to tortilla soup, actually. It has a real nice tortilla soup aroma. They give you a tortilla as well, and you can squeeze lime in there. Gracias. <laughs> and everybody here is so friendly. Oh, chili. Okay, gracias. And they give you dried chili to put in there as well. Isn't that beautiful? A couple chilies in there as well. Should be good. Really has a tortilla soup aroma. Oh, smoky, full of spice. Mmm. Oh, it has a beef flavor, but very jelly-like. And that soup is so smooth. It really is a smooth tortilla soup flavor. It really is all about the texture. The cow feet have like a, a very jelly, almost springiness to them. I could picture eating this when you've got a cold or when you need to feel healthy. It's just a warm, soothing pick-me-up, and it's very delicious. Gracias. After walking a little bit further, we found a stall serving some of the juiciest, most plump pork head meat sandwiches with the softest, most heavenly buns. A true juicy flavor explosion. Sí. Hola, señor. Uh, una torta cabeza de cerdo, por favor. Con todo? Uh, con todo. Todo. Sí. Look at all that pig head meat. And I'm gonna get a torta, Mexican sandwich. You can see she's just put a little bit of frijoles, pig head meat, cilantro and onion on a soft torta bun. And there's also turkey meat over there. Gracias. Oh, look at that, all that fresh pig head meat. A Little bit of salsa, a little bit of onion, cilantro. Oh, the, the most beautiful thing is this soft bun. And you can just watch them and they're pouring all of that frijoles, refried beans on. But this definitely needs a bit more salsa. Let's just pour a little bit of that salsa verde all over that, cover it squeezing lime on things in Mexico. That's, there's nothing like the fresh citrusy aroma. Just look at how wet that is. Look at that, that bread is just soaked with the frijoles, refried beans, and all that salsa. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh, it's just, the bun is incredibly soft and saturated with the frijoles. And the pig head meat is actually very fatty and juicy as well. This right here is the true flavor. Spicy green salsa. Chili, tomatillo, onion. That'll burn, but feel so good at the same time. You like Oaxaca? Oaxaca, Oaxaca's the best, yeah. Very nice place. Best place. <laughs> People are so friendly here. <laughs> If you love these food and travel videos, we got Thai Haola and Travel Eat Repeat merch in the description below. I would love to hear from you in the comments below as well. And please click that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because we got a ton of delicious street food tours coming up for you. Thanks so much for watching, guys.